All right, let's take a look at one of the new instruments that comes with Cubase 5 called Groove Agent 1. Groove Agent 1 is obviously kind of modeled after uh, an MPC-styled drum machine, but it's going to have some unique elements and software that make the integration in with Cubase very powerful. Uh, so let's take a look at some of what we could do. Now, first off, you're going to get over 50 different kits that load up uh, in a wide variety of styles. So rock kits, funky kits, Latin kits, uh, general MIDI kits, electronica, R&B. So I've loaded up a, a drum and bass uh, kit here. So I can come over here and just trigger my pads. Now I have 16 pads. Uh, I have 16 stereo outputs going into my Cubase mixer. Uh, and I have 8 banks of 16 pads. So that gives me a total of up to 128 pads. Each pad can have up to eight velocity layers as well. So I can have up to 1,024 samples loaded. Now if I come over here, I could also just say, okay, for each sound, I could come over here and adjust my different voice filters or amplifier settings. So if I wanted to tune my kick drum, make it a very high-pitched kick, or we'll drop the tuning on it. We could just do that very easily. Now, one of the things that we wanted to do to make it kind of very unique with a computer environment is the ability of just dragging and dropping audio. So instead of having to uh, you know, navigate through your network or through your hard drives, we thought it'd be cool if we could actually, if I have a great audio file on my desktop here, I could just simply drag that right onto a pad and I could just trigger that. And I can also change the trigger mode where I want it to be key hold, where it'll play until I release the key. Or if I wanted to play through the whole sample as soon as it's actually just triggered. So very, very flexible with that. Now, one of the things that we also wanted to give was a new MIDI plugin called Beat Designer. Now, Beat Designer is basically an easy way of programming any MIDI drum source. Uh, you could use anything, any external MIDI, any virtual instrument. In this example, we'll use it with uh, Groove Agent 1. So this is a step sequencer. So if I come over here, I could just, we'll just play this a little bit here. So, and I could have different patterns programmed here. So if I wanted to come here, I could actually switch between my different patterns. Now I could click on a jump and actually have these trigger just for MIDI notes themselves. So I could actually switch the patterns in real time. Now if I wanted to program my own beat, but let's say I have a difficult time making drum beats, I could come right over here and I could just kind of paint in different drum patterns here. And let's say I wanted to adjust the velocity, I could just go directly on the notes and move the mouse up and down and adjust my velocity. So say I want to have a hand clap. And let's say in this hand clap I want to have a bit of a flam, like where the drummer would hit their sticks very close together. I'll click at the bottom, you see a dot, and now we hear one flam. If I click again, we'll have two flams, or up to three flams per note. And I can adjust the volume level and rhythmic placement of each of the flams if I was so inclined. Now say I want to throw in maybe a flam on my kick drum here. And let's, in, we'll just make this, I can resize the window. Let's say I have a little tambourine. But let's say I want these to adjust the velocity here. And let's say I want to, I have two independent swing factors. So I could actually have my shakers be slightly ahead of the beat and my snares be behind the beat. Or the opposite. And you could also just kind of randomly So, 
now I have created my own drum pattern. But if I want to get this integrated into my Cubase project, I don't have to worry about always, it'll perfectly synchronize, but if I want to actually edit the MIDI notes in my MIDI editor, all I'd have to do is click on this little triangle here, then I could actually say, okay, I want to insert the pattern at the cursor, or if I want to put it between the left and right locator, starting there, or if I want to fill the space between my left and right locators, and now it's automatically gone and copied that pattern directly onto my project window without the need for synchronizing MIDI clock, or MIDI timecode, any of that nonsense. So now if I want to come over here, I could just play the pattern that is exactly as I programmed it. Now let's say I want to get that coveted swing feel. One of the great things we have in Cubase is a quantizer plugin. So as I take my pattern here, I can now just take my swing factor And I can get that classic R&B swing out of parts that were very kind of rhythmically stale without the swing. So very, very easy to work with patterns and programming drum patterns. But a lot of us will also deal with drum loops. So I'm going to start from scratch. And let's say I want to go to my VST instruments. So we'll start with a brand new instrument of Groove Agent 1. And let's say... Uh, now, often people have difficulties working with drum loops because they could actually have their own sound and, the, you know, the drum loops are used often over and over again. So let's say I have a drum loop that looks like this right here. We'll listen to our drum loop. So we'll come right here, turn this on. So kind of a nice... Let's say I like the feel, I like the sound of those drums, but I want to have variations because I've heard this, other people use the same drum loop. So I'm going to double click and go to my Cubase sample editor and we get to our hit points tab. And what I'm going to do is come over here, I'm going to adjust the sensitivity of my notes so that basically it's finding the rhythmically significant points of the audio. And now when I play, I could isolate the hi-hats from the kicks and the snares and the... So now I'm going to say slice and close. And that's automatically now kind of slice up the audio at those rhythmically significant points. So now what I want to do is come right here and I'm going to... We saw how I could drag and drop audio, but now I'm going to drag and drop and then I'm going to hold down my shift key. Now each slice has automatically been mapped across its own pad. So now if I want to throw in like a different snare fills, I can do that very easily. So now, now you may notice this little exchange area had also lit up. So what we do is we'll come over here and then we'll just kind of turn off our plugins and this little exchange area, what I'm going to do now is just I'll set the output to Groove Agent and now we'll come right here and we'll just drag right onto our project window. And now I can have the same exact, it's created a MIDI file for us. So it's gonna trigger the individual MIDI notes here. So now if I wanted to have a very simple variation of that, I could just duplicate my notes here. And now let's come over here. Let's say now each of my slices will be just mapped out for me. So if I wanted to just randomly change some of the slices, I could use my arrow keys. And now I could just come over here. Let's say for this variation, I wanted to have it repeated. So now I could come right here and I'll just say, okay, let's go ahead and right click and I'll say, let's reverse the MIDI notes. And now as I come over here, we'll just listen to our MIDI playback. Now my variation. So in a matter of seconds, you can kind of 
reconstruct and deconstruct all of your loops and have incredibly musical results. Now we thought that also since Groove Agent 1 looked like an MPC, that it would be great if we could actually import your MPC program files. So that way you could have all your favorite samples loaded up directly into Groove Agent. So as you see, Groove Agent used in combination with Beat Designer makes working with beats and creating beats easier than ever before.